Okay, I need you to go from the green room to the wings. Hang out by that first leg. I'll be out in the house. For your blocking, you'll cross from stage left to downstage right, then go upstage, then back downstage. But be careful. We're having the flies come in, so you need to hang out on the apron. Break a leg. Y'all, did you just get any of that? If not, you're not alone. All industries have their own phrases or terminology, and the theater is no different. Hi, I'm Leslie Larson. I'm an acting coach and a director, and today's acting tip is going to get you caught up on some of the language of the theater, the stage directions. When you're in a play, your director is going to give you directions on where to go on the stage. The movement on stage by an actor is called blocking. This isn't the only thing a director does, but being responsible for the visual storytelling element of a production is one part of a director's job. When a director is working with the cast, she usually doesn't stand on stage with them as they work. Instead, she sits where the audience sits. I took a little field trip to the Wayne Theater to show you what I mean. Right now, I'm in the house, which is where the audience sits during a show. So, as you just saw in that clip, the place where the audience sits is called the house. As I mentioned before, a director needs to tell the actors where to move, but it gets a little confusing. See, if I'm standing in the house telling the actors to go left, they're going to move to their left, which isn't what I wanted at all. In order to prevent things from getting confusing, we have stage directions that help the actor know where to go. Now, before I show you the stage directions, one thing to realize is that a long time ago, some stages used to be raked, meaning they were at an angle, very similar to the audience seating in movie theaters or sports arenas. Take a look at the stage directions. Still confusing, right? One thing to realize is that these are all from the actor's point of view. Imagine yourself standing on stage. Because the stage used to be on an angle, upstage literally meant walking up a bit of a hill, and downstage meant walking down an incline. Let's go back to the Wayne stage to show you what I mean. So here I am, standing on center stage. If my director needs me to move from one direction on the stage to the others, I'm going to use my handy dandy stage directions map. So my director might say, Leslie, would you move stage left? And that means I'm going to go from center stage this way. Come along. And then if she says, I need you to cross from stage left all the way to stage right, I'm gonna go this way. If she wants me to go downstage, I'm gonna get a little closer to the audience, like this. If she wants me to go upstage, I'm gonna walk towards the back of the theater. And now I'm upstage. When you're not on stage, your director will ask you to be backstage or offstage. Here's a clip of me at the Wayne backstage. You'll notice that I'm peeking out at the audience, which is a big no-no in the theater world. If you can see the audience, they can see you. Here I am, backstage at the Wayne Theater. Stage directions might feel a little confusing at first, but if you can remember that they're all from the actor's point of view, standing on stage, looking out into the house, it'll help. As long as you know you're right from your left, you're up from your down, well in this case, you're upstage towards the back of the theater, and you're downstage closer to the audience, then you'll be just fine. Okay, that's our tip for the day. Take some time practicing in your own home. Set up a space that can be your stage, making sure to set up a house or audience space as well. Give yourself the challenge to find stage left and stage right, upstage, downstage, then mix them up. See if you can find downstage left or upstage right, center stage. Maybe see if you can cross from upstage right to downstage left, then over to stage right. 
See what kind of patterns you can make using your handy dandy stage directions map. I hope you enjoyed learning a few of the stage terms that you'll hear in rehearsals. Stay tuned for another tip where I'll introduce you to more theater terminology. I want to give a thank you to our sponsor, KK Homes. These professionals are helping to make content like this possible. We appreciate your support. I'll see you next time.